Hello, it's Susie from Nail Care Education, and I've had a lot of requests from my viewers to do a water marbleizing design. They're lots of fun. You can use so many colors. Let's get started. This is a rather messy experience, so if you want to prepare yourself by putting some oil or something around the cuticle to protect your fingers and your skin, and you'll know why when we get going. So I'm gonna get some Vaseline, and I'm gonna get a little cotton swab, and I'll just put some Vaseline on the Q-tip. And I'm going to put it around quite a bit of the finger, like maybe an inch of it, right? From the cuticle area up and the underside as well. Because when you dip your finger into the paint, the paint goes all over the finger. It's a bit of work, this design, but it's really worth it. It's really neat. Okay, another thing you can do too is you can get oil, cuticle oil. Any oil, olive oil, baby oil, whatever. And you wanna put some of this around the finger as well. Just don't get any on the nail bed on your fingernail, the area where the nail polish is gonna go, right? Just won't stick. So I'll rub it around with a cotton swab because if I use my other hand, I won't be able to get the nail polish bottles open. Okay, now we can get to the fun stuff. So the next step is water. It really has to be room temperature to make it really effective and it spreads out nicely when you see. I'll get the water dishes. Okay, I've got my water. I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit and come to room temperature. Okay, I have noticed that when you're doing these designs with these bright colors, if you put a coat of white down first, it really helps the colors pop. It's quite a bit more vibrant. So I'm just gonna put one coat of white on. It doesn't have to be a perfect coat. White is kind of hard to put on. So it doesn't have to be perfect because you're putting a color on top, many colors. It's always fun to paint an edge nail. I can't wait to see how the water marbling lays across edge nail design, it's really cool. Okay. Probably don't have to really wait too long for that to dry, it's just one coat. Okay, with just a little dry time in between, get your water ready. And this is where the fun comes in. Okay, so I just give each one a little bit of a shake and undo it and get it ready. And I leave the lids open. That way I can access it because there may be several times you want to use one color, right? So leave them open and ready to go. I'm going to use specifically these colors. I don't know if I'm going to use the dark ones so much. I might just keep it nice and light. Okay, so you get a lot of polish on your brush. And just keep layering. Try to do it in the center of the color design, not off to the side. You can, but you see how far it spreads out. It seems like the first few balls spread out really quite fast and wide. And then as it gets drying, I guess, the surface of the water, the paint gets drying, the spread out doesn't go as far. That's what I've noticed. And on that note, it starts to get really, see how it's not spreading out as far? And I suppose that's just because it's got other paint in the way. And then you can just keep going to what colors you want. But I find, I'll show you when I'm, when I poke it about. Okay, so get your stick. Now I find if you drag it from the outside, these layers have been there a lot longer. They're starting to dry quite a bit faster. So maybe bring it in from like about these layers. Because that wide one out there, is, it's not wanting to pull. I've ruined a many trying to figure that out. See how you can get those loops in there? That's the pretty part. I like that part. Okay, that's where I'm going to stick my finger. So I'm going to stick my thumb in there. I'm trying to figure out which design I like better. I think I'm going to go in this route here. Maybe a bit on an angle might look cool. So it's hard to see the design now until I bring it up for you to see. When you put it in, don't bring your thumb out again right away because you'll double layer the paint and you might not like this side of the paint, right? So you want to collect it and it's all drawing on the surface to speed it up. If it's not, you can blow it 
By cooling the surface, it helps you drag up the rest of the paint, get it off your finger and out of the way. So when you bring it up, oh, that's adorable. So you can see messy, but if you block all that off, it's adorable. I love it. Okay, I like that. Let's do the rest. See how it just kind of spreads? That's cool, that's what you want. And you'll notice the first few ones really spread out far. And then it starts to get smaller and that's the area you'll be working in. So these are the colors right here and now that you're creating that you're gonna wanna make your design out of. Okay, clean tip, clean cuticle stick, or barbecuing skewer in this case. And then again, don't pull too far from the outside. That's pretty. And you don't have to go around and do it all because you're really only dipping in one little area, right? But you can keep doing it. Say if you didn't like that side, you could try this side and see if you like it any better. I do like the kind of loop that brings. See that loop? I like that. So this side I started with over here, but I don't think I'm gonna use that. I like these better. These are kind of square edges, but I like this rounder, and I like that rounder part too. I don't know. I don't know which one I'm gonna use now. I might like this one. Okay. Now again, you see it's kind of collecting, so it must be getting cooler. You can blow it to speed that process up. And then take a look at it. Oh, that's pretty. It's nice and smooth. Very different than the thumb. Which is interesting. Same color, same artist, same stick, same everything. Totally different in design. When I examine these colors, I like the pink and the yellow closer together. I like the dark blue, but not on so much of the nail. So I'll let that go to the widespread to the outside. And I'm gonna put that pink and the yellow closer together more often. So I'm gonna do a lot of pink and the yellow on the inside. Oh, the pink is much more runny. It just literally jumps into it. <laughs> okay, fresh stick. That's pretty. I bet you could, like, we could do swirls too. That's kind of neat. Okay, ready to dip. And I'm gonna do this finger. Whew. Yeah, see, it just kept, picked up the pink and the yellow parts. Not much of the green or the dark green at all. <laughs> so different than the index finger, but I like it. Now we'll do the fancy one. So I do want some of the dark one on the outside, so I'll let that spread out. See that little ball right there means my water is getting too cold. That's just what that means, look at that. It won't even move, or I guess it could mean the surface is too dirty. Let's try that as an experiment. Let's see if we can clean this up as much as possible. And if I Feel the it's definitely colder, but let's see if it works still. Ah, I think it's telling us the surface is too dirty. Good to know. I like this green more than I think the super dark one. dark one in the center because it's little. Okay, clean stick. Okay, now the big one's going in. I just gotta figure out what I want. I think I'll go here. Wow, it's green. 
groovy, man. <laughs> I think a Q-tip helps to clean it up too. Okay, one more finger to go. It almost disappears. Some colors do, they almost disappear. It's just a little finger, so I don't need a huge area. a little dirty if it pulls too much get a new stick yeah that's the ticket okay that's cute in there I like that you can see once you got really good at it you could create patterns and be consistent and try to create the same one all the time if you wanted okay I'm going in you know what let's try a q-tip and see if it absorbs it better might be a little easier yeah it's just a bigger surface so it just grabs more paint That's actually just what I wanted, a little bit of the dark blue. What a mess, but cute fingers. Let me clean this up, let me get rid of this. I hate having a mess on here. Well, we'll use this paper towel still too. I'm gonna to get my trusty remover. And let's hope that Vaseline slash oil, that cuticle oil helped make this clean up a little easier. I kind of fold it in half and then I just start going around, kind of just slowly removing. Make sure your pad is soaked enough with the remover because you don't want like scraggly fur balls from the pad to, to get onto the fingernail and stick to your paint. It's not bad. It's leaving a little bit of a stain, but it probably would have been a lot worse if you didn't have that oil on there. Okay. So let me take the time to go around and do this all. Well, that was a whole lot of messy fun and a mess it was. Okay, so it's all cleaned up now. And now I think I'm just gonna put a few diamonds and stuff on it just to jazz it up a little. So I'm just gonna get a dotting tool. I'm gonna use this one, nice and tiny, just to pick it up. This is nice and dry now. And before you top coat it, you really wanna make sure it's dry. It is polished, so make, so make sure it is dry. And it's very simple, just give it a nice top coat. I'm gonna do as we go because I'm gonna put the diamonds on. This is polished secured diamonds. So I just chose these ones here. They're quite cute. I've got some orange ones here and some clear gems. I'm gonna get my dotting tool just to pick it up. And this is an orange one. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put it. Maybe I'll just put one little one here. I'm gonna fancy it up on the on the long finger. So I think I'll just put that there. That's kind of cute. And for the index, I think I'm gonna do much the same. Oh, polish. Remember, polish secured. It's cute. And I'll just put down a layer of clear. And I think I'll stick with the orange. I actually kinda of like it. Not a lot of time you can use orange. <laughs> Let's take advantage. Okay, here's the big finger. I'm gonna put a lot of top coat on there. I'm gonna take advantage of the edge shape. I've been thinking about this. I've actually been thinking about it for a while. I think I'm gonna take my jewels and mismatch the jewels, like this color, then do a clear one, then do an orange one. Just sort of take advantage of that sloping side. Then I'm gonna do the same on this side. Clear one. There's really only room for three. Just so you can see it. You know what? I don't like it. I'm gonna take it off. Thank goodness this is allowing me to do it. If you're gonna do that, you better do it right away. In my mind, it was good. Believe me, oh my goodness, it was so pretty in my mind. <laughs> but I didn't like it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some more polish just to soften that end. 
now I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do along the lines of what I've already done, except I'll do that. Then I'll put a nice diamond next to it. I like this, I think. That better. And then the pinky. That's all there is. I didn't get crazy with the diamonds. There's a lot of design going on this nail anyway, so I didn't want to get too crazy, but I just want a little tiny bling. And that's a little tiny bling. Picking up on the orange, it's really cute. So when you do put your jewels on, these are polish secured. You can recess them in wet polish, but you also got to top coat them again just to make sure they'll stay. They probably will, but just to be sure, you want to make sure that there's polish around them. You can polish right over top of the jewel, and it should stay until the client comes back again. So I'll just give it one more final top coat. And these are ready for the reveal. You know, I was just thinking back in the old days, we did something like this. We just took some polish, dropped it on, took a toothpick and smeared it around and top coated it and called it a day. This is so much more sophisticated. Now we do it with water, which is brilliant. I don't even thought of it. I wish I did. Thanks for the suggestion for this water marbleizing design. It was so much fun to do. I'm glad I did it. Thanks for your comments and everything that you sent to me. I just love them. We'll see you in the next video. Talk to you soon.